Hello, this is David, a Bionic Turtle, continuing with a focus on the CFA, and today a look at accrued and deferred revenue and expense. And we're interested here in the accounts that are created when there's a difference between the accrual and the cash flow. So I have the four kinds of accounts here in a matrix two by two. So on the left here in green, these are transactions where we have recognized or booked the revenue or expense, but the cash is not paid or received until the next period. And then over here, the opposite kinds of transaction, cash has been received or paid in this current period, but will not be recognized or incurred until the next period. So if we look at this first quadrant here, booked, but, not, but no cash, we have accounts receivable and accrued revenue. And so here is just an example. Revenue is booked, but the cash is not yet received. That means on the income statement, we would recognize, for example, $100, but the cash has not been received, so there's nothing on the cash flow statement. And then how would that look on the balance sheet? Here's a real abbreviated balance sheet. Accounts receivable would go up by $100, and retained earnings would also go up by $100. As you know, the balance sheet needs to balance. Assets on the left need to equal. Liabilities plus equity on the right. And so the plus 100 on both sides does match. Also, if working capital is current assets minus current liabilities, you'll notice this transaction does increase working capital by 100. 100 here, zero under current liabilities. So that's this quadrant here. Now let's look at the next type of transaction, which is this quadrant here, where cash is received by the company but has not yet been earned. So the classic examples of that are the customer pays for a annual subscription or an extended warranty or an upfront insurance premium. Then we as the company have received the, received the cash, but we haven't earned all of it over future periods yet. So now notice zero on the income statement, we're not recognizing the revenue today. The cash flow does come in though, as operating cash flow. What does it look like on the balance sheet? Well, we have the cash, so that's cash as a current asset, goes up by 100, and now notice what happens. We're not plussing up, we're not increasing the retained earnings account or equity, we're increasing a current liability account called deferred or unearned revenue. So assets equal, do equal liabilities on the right. In this case, though, notice working capital, which is current assets minus current liabilities, does not increase. And that's because in this case, it's deferred or unearned revenue. So there is an, a current liability account created here. Now, the third kind of transaction is the expenses incurred, now we're in this quadrant here, before cash is paid. So the classic example of, he, is the, of this is, we as the company have incurred an expense, a wage expense to our employees that's gonna actually be paid in the next period. So in this transaction, the income statement expense is recognized, minus 100. There's no cash flow going out into this period. Nothing happens on the asset side, but we do have an accrued expense, which is a current liability over here on the right-hand side, and the retained earnings as an expense is minus 100. So you see this also balances here because one plus 100 minus 100 equals zero on the right-hand side. So this transaction does not increase the balance sheet at all. And in fact, it decreases working capital by $100. And finally, the fourth example in the fourth quadrant here is where we have cash has been paid before the expense has been reported. So now there's zero expense incurred or recognized on the income statement, but we are spending the cash outflow. So it shows up on the cash flow statement. So in terms of the balance sheet, we're minus the 100 in cash that we spent. However, again, no recognition on the income statement. And so there is a creation of or an increase of a prepaid expense account of plus 100. So prepaid expense is a current asset. 
And so in this case also we balance and you can see there's no increase to working capital, zero increase for current assets, zero increase for current liabilities. In this case where we've effectively prepaid the expense, all we've done in terms of the balance sheet is shift the $100 from a cash asset to a prepaid expense asset. So those are the four particularly tricky accounts that are involved when there's a difference between accrued revenue and expense and cash flows. This is David of the Monarch Turtle. Thanks for your time.